Hi. A scotch or a cello tape is a wonderful product, but it's tough, so you need a dispenser. Today I'm going to show you how you can tear the tape just with your fingers and without use of regular tools. How did I make it happen? So here we have the picture of a cello tape. Here's the roll and this is the loose end of the cello tape. This expanded portion is shown here. As you can see, we have made a cut which is about one millimeter deep and 45 degree to the run of the cello tape towards the loose end. What this cut does, it helps you to tear the cello tape across and at the same time when you continue to open the cello tape, this, the tear does not develop from this corner but runs back to the full width of the tape. On the tape, I decide what are the minimum length of tape pieces that I require. For example, I feel one-fourth the length of the circumference is adequate for me. Take a marker and I put four marks and I transfer it to the other side too. Having done the marking, I take a sharp knife the tape is opening this way, line with a marking, on the periphery, I make a 45 degree cut. My tape is ready. On the tape, the marking shows where the cut is on the opposite side. If you are left handed, Cut the tape on the left side looking from your side. As the tape opens, when I cross a mark, I know a cut has crossed and all that I need to do is to put my finger and slight left pull and she tears. In case I have to do a gift wrapping, I apply the same thing. I keep going straight and when I cross a marker, I pull and the tape tears. In case I need a longer tape for any purpose, no problem. I keep applying the tape, keep pasting it as long as I want. When I think I've had adequate length and I've crossed a marker, I just have to pull and the tape tears. Happy gift wrapping friends!